Hi everybody, Tim Wilde here and I'm checking in this morning to kind of have an energy catch up and also start to work with a a, a short series of, of videos that I'm going to be doing over the next kind of couple of months or maybe even into the new year depending on how long they run. And uh, I haven't been kind of on YouTube or releasing videos as much as normal because I've been very busy. I've been to Finland, I'm preparing to go to Sweden in a couple of weeks so, and life is busy, busy, busy. The energy is kind of rolling forward and um, August was tremendously transformational and so is September and now we're, we're into October <clears throat> and we're now building up for the kind of the solstice. So today I'm going to kind of have a little bit of a reflect on the current energies that are going round and as a lot of you will be aware of it's very very intense. During my trip to Finland I happened to kind of open my, my first workshop which we were concentrating on the ascension process the kind of more the 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 kind of um, almost the 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 simplest route through how to navigate the energies at the moment and kind of the, the, the best and most effective ways to do it and I didn't realize until I was getting on the plane that the actual date of the workshop was on the autumn equinox and it was so powerful the energy you know usually when you've got a group when you've got a working space it's like you you are aware of the energies around you very intensely but this was you know, my, my ears were ringing in the morning and I'm sure that a lot of you will be receiving these kind of, <coughs> the, the, these very high pitched frequencies in your ears at the moment. Now, whenever I get these high pitched frequencies, it's indicating to me that there is a download of energy coming. Um, and it's usually from the great central sun. The great central sun is the ninth dimensional star, which isn't visible to us, but is actually controlling our ascension process which kind of, it speaks its instructions which then get kind of funneled through our own personal sun the star that we see in the sky the sky every day and gets transformed into kind of dna upgrades and 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 cellular changes and energy changes and 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 this creates a releasing pattern within our emotional our physical and our mental bodies which a lot of us we are completely aware of we know what's going on now and so today it's it's the the first part of the conversation will be a little bit about how to kind of stay grounded during these these particular these particular times because I for one used to find it very very tricky to actually stay in my current state of reality when I was particularly when I was navigating new energies when I was learning new stuff when there was things that were kind of um almost pushing me beyond my boundaries now it's all about stepping from our old boundaries our own self into this new paradigm and of course this new paradigm it's, it's not what we're used to these energies are completely different but the old tricks the old techniques and the methods that we used to use are quite often very effective still um, Say, for instance, you wake up in the morning, you are feeling like you've done a very, very, you've done a tricky night's work, you've been out of your body, you could have been learning in Syria, in the, the universities of Sirius in the higher planes, you could have gone back to your, your planet of origin, or you could be located somewhere on planet Earth clearing the dense energies, but in spiritual form, and you wake up tired, basically, you wake up and you've had eight hours sleep, if you're lucky, <laughs> if you haven't got children, and um, you don't feel like you've actually had the quantity of rest that you need, you're, you're still, you're, you know, when we're out of our bodies we're doing a lot we're working very very hard so the first thing you do is you put your feet on your carpet and you set your energy for the day and to do that you use your earth star chakra so today is going to be focusing on the energies how to navigate them and also the use of the earth star chakra which is the transcendent chakra found just below the soles of our feet it, when it first activated, just after kind of the, the 2012, um, the cosmic moment, the chakra would have looked etherically kind of almost, it almost looked like a yin and yang symbol. It was a, it was a mixture of black and white. 
But though now it's active, now we're all using this chakra, it becomes, it's, I see it as a hematite, grey or a silver, depending on the energy that I'm tuning it into. The Earth Star Chakra sets your energy for the day. That is how you anchor, activate and hold your vibration steady. So the first thing you do, you put your feet on the carpet. I tend to take a couple of deep breaths, close my eyes, you know, just the, the standard sort of like prayer speaking to source format and you intend or state what you wish to achieve for the day what state of energy, what vibration you want to hold. Most of us immediately go for the the pinpoint on 5D. I would like to hold my energy in a fifth dimensional state during the course of this day, no matter what I'm doing. So you get up, you eat your breakfast, you go out the door, you go off to work if you're doing if you if you're still doing the job or you get or you go out and you do whatever you're doing. But the important thing is that you have you have basically communicated your intention to your Earth Star Chakra. Now your earth star chakra will draw that energy down through your body, through the cells of your body, through your physical, mental, emotional and your spiritual self, down through all of your chakras, your 12 chakras, and it will anchor that frequency in. So whatever you want to achieve for the day, you communicate with your earth star and you anchor that energy in. And just take a few seconds, try it now if you want. Just place, so either stand or sit with your feet flat on the floor. Even better, have a crystal. It doesn't have to be kind of um, awesomely kind of fancy or anything. You just place a crystal either in your hands or you can place it between the soles of your feet. So you can hold the crystal between your feet and so, that the, so it's right next to your earth star. Close your eyes and draw in the energy that you want for the day. I'm very, very kind of close to the gold ray of Christ. I always use the gold ray of Christ. So imagine beautiful golden energy coming down through your chakras, through your bodies, your fields, filling every aspect of you and anchoring into your earth star. And it's a very easy energy to connect with at the moment. It's absolutely everywhere on this planet. So feel it flooding through the cells of your body. Feel it moving through your chakras. Feel it removing anything that you might have woken up with or, you, or, you, or you've currently got going on at the moment or nurturing and supporting those situations. And just allow your vibration to rise to the frequency that you want it to. Then uh, ask your earth star to set it. And this you'll feel like almost a, it's almost like clicking a light switch, like a setting point and, and you'll feel that and you can either sense it or feel this click as your earth star sets your vibration. And once you've done that, it might take a couple of goes if you're not used to working with, with um, your earth star in that way or, or the energy's kind of a bit bouncy which it sometimes is, you can then kind of allow yourself to ground into the frequencies of Gaia using your Earth Star as well. Now the Earth Star Chakra is our, it's totally tuned into the higher dynamics of the magnetics on our planet. So whatever energy that planet Mother Earth is kind of holding at a higher dimensional space, our earth stars are designed to be tuned into that. So using the earth star chakra below the soles of your feet, also take a few moments to allow beautiful silver roots or silver gold or whatever colour you want to visualise to kind of almost, I, I see it like almost like etheric tree roots, kind of like just mixing and merging with the energy of earth. And allow yourself to be grounded in, you are here in your physical body. Okay, you are here, you are a human being, you are doing you are doing light work, you are ascending a planet, or you're doing whatever you're doing for the day. You set your roots into the magnetics and the energy flows and the higher dimensional frequencies of Mother Earth and just take a few moments to do that. And very quickly you will feel solid, you will feel grounded, you'll feel in tune with the planet that you are living on because a lot of us come back from these dimensional spaces at night time we might go back to our 
a, a home vibration we might you know like we're, we're doing we're doing jobs we're doing we're doing tough work at night time and um coming back into our bodies first thing in the morning quite quite often for me it used to be quite bewildering so the first thing i do is i anchor that energy in and i use my earth star chakra now your earth star chakra is also it's linked into all of the previous golden eras on this planet so you'd have had lifetimes in atlantis you'd have had non-physical lifetimes in lemuria and you'll have also and 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 the other previous golden eras that gone to, gone before us and so there's always a steady flow of information that's that that's that's kind of always in the kind of the earth the, the earth matrix and your earth star chakra picks it up and draws it up for you as well so be aware of that process too but primarily the earth star chakra is our grounding agent that is how we solidify and anchor our energies in so you can probably understand why prior to the cosmic moment why so many people sensitive people people like you and me were very ungrounded because it's a lot easier to ground into these energies now than it used to be 3d was a very tough kind of um it was a very tough period to live in because those of us who were uh, flowering early kind of thing we had to maintain our higher energy bandwidth in a very much lower frequency which was it was it was harder to do than it is now and i was talking about this on 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 saturday night when birkin tor and i ran our our star seeds guide to planet earth zoom and we thought you know it's life is easier for high frequency souls now than it used to be so even though you're going through these processes these these downloads these planetary alignments the lunar events the, the sun flares and all of the tests and initiations that we're going through at the moment, even though these are increasing intensity with our with our vibration, it's now easier to maintain this vibration than it used to be. So remember that when when things are kind of getting tough, it's easier to be in a higher vibration than it is a lower vibration. You will switch much easier into 5D now than you will do kind of being dragged back into the 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 kind of um the the energy frequencies and bandwidths that we used to be in which um this it becomes very obvious when 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 you've woken up you know you know the old adage is once you've woken up there's no kind of going back you can't unawake yourself you can't really go back to sleep again and you'll find that this this particularly with the energy at the moment the it's august the the lionsgate was so powerful then we then we had the lunar eclipse. It was lunar eclipse season, and then we've had the the autumn equinox. It's almost like these dates become irrelevant because the energy is consistent now. <laughs> and and you'll know what I'm talking about. It's just like do we don't get a day off from this anymore. We used to kind of get our download. We used to get 48 hours to process it, and then we used to kind of come back out of it all singing and dancing. But that doesn't seem to be occurring anymore. The energy is consistent. It, day by day, the vibration just gets higher and higher and higher. And all around the planet, things are beginning to change now. I mean, once you start using your Earth star, you'll also become very in tune with what Mother Earth is feeling and thinking and feeling. And at a higher vibration, that's great. That's absolutely fine. But also be aware that at the moment, you and I are working very hard to be clearing the quantities of density that are being released around this planet as people also begin their change process and um, that change process is intense you know the light workers that are waking up now they're, they're doing so very very quickly and they're, they're they're being presented with a world that they're like like wow you know is was that really going on and i didn't notice or the people that are still asleep and they're still refusing to kind of almost you know accept the fact that earth is no longer a, f a 3d school it is now a, a rapidly changing fourth dimensional planet and uh, in the future months leading up to the winter solstice we are going to see this energy and in intensifying again luckily um well, I've news that i i was very pleased to hear um i heard that the retrograde season is now kind of concluding and pluto 
which um, Pluto that was disrupting a lot of of kind of our forward movement went st it, it became stationary and is now forward moving again. So that really intense summer of kind of releasing and and kind of scraping around in kind of the the the, the kind of the bottom of our of our soul emotions has now kind of ended i mean it's it doesn't end in so much as that oh we don't have to do that work anymore it's we can now move forward again very very efficiently so when you wake up in the morning when you set your energy when you set your earth star chakra below the soles of your feet Use your intention to be striking out forward now. Whatever you want to focus on, whatever you want to create, whatever you wish to add to the planet, you'll, the, the, the energy will just move so quickly. And as, as always, um, use the violet flame. I know this is another energy which um, a lot of us think, well, this is, this is an old hat energy that's been around for so long, you know, like violet flame, everything. You can never have too much violet flame. So if you've experienced somebody else's energies around you lower than you would like, if, if you feel like you've taken on other people's energies, which we do all the time, if you feel like you've got cords or attachments to certain situations or people, violet flame this because the violet flame will automatically release and dissolve any lower frequencies and bring in the opportunity for a higher vibration okay so and just lastly the last little kind of tip that i'd like to share this morning is also just be very very aware of other people's energy and communication with us at the moment as we're moving into this higher state of frequency you know we've all been right we've all been waking up we've been racing to 5d as fast as possible in the process of doing so in in the small print we start becoming very much more sensitive to other people's energies we are feeling everything at the moment so be vigilant when you wake up in the morning when you ground yourself with your earth style when you put on your cloak of the violet flame and the gold ray of christ also make sure that you are clear of other people's cords and attachments because these connections are happening they're they're happening so much faster now the second we think about someone the second we we connect our energy into them by by thinking loving thoughts about them not so loving thoughts about them or any thoughts whatsoever you have created an energetic bond with that person be careful how you use it okay because these intentions become very fast moving they're very very powerful so be vigilant it's it's all again it all it's all boils down to discipline i talk about spiritual discipline a lot be disciplined with your thoughts be disciplined with your intentions be disciplined with your your spiritual hygiene so clear the cords and attachments if you've been if you've had a bad day you've been you know we're, we're, we're human we all have them if you've been thinking lower frequency thoughts if you sent anything out bring it back violet flame it cut the cords and just start your day in a higher vibration and ask your earth star to, to hold that for you at all times so that is how we're using our earth star chakra at the moment it's an incredibly powerful chakra it sets our vibration and you can you can set out and you can spend your day in whatever vibration that you choose a lot more easily than if you don't so it's a very useful tool and with the next video i'm going to be i'm going to be <laughs> usually i work from the stellar gateway downwards but this time i'm working from the earth star upwards okay so the next video which will hopefully be in a week or two i will be focusing on the base chakra and after the base chakra obviously the sacral then the navel and then the solar plexus and etc etc so there's going to be a regular a regular source of videos coming in from me when i if i'm not abroad or i'm not working so i hope this has been useful if there's any questions please message me on my tim wilde practical ascension page or put the comment in the the, the youtube comments and um I'll see you again soon and sending you all lots of love and uh, keep up the good work. We're doing a marvellous job on this planet at the moment. It might not look like it if you read the news, but the energy under the table is extremely positive. Okay, so I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.